Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Later this month, On1 Software will be releasing a new version of On1 Photo Raw. It is, of course, going to be called On1 Photo Raw 2023. I've been fortunate enough to get a pre-release copy of the application, and I've been doing some videos demonstrating some new features that will be found in the app. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll have a link to them in the description below this video. Now today, I want to show you another new feature. I do want to remind you that I am working with a pre-release version of the application, so when it is officially released, it may look or behave a bit differently. Now I have this image here, and as you can see, I'm in the develop panel, and I did some tone adjustments and added a tiny bit of saturation. Now at this point, I would probably do one of two things. I would either go to left panel and add a preset, or I would go over to effects and add an effect. And of course, when you add an effect, if you click on effects, you could add a filter here by clicking on add filter, or when you're in the effects panel, you also have not only presets over here, you'll also have filters over here. And you could add the same exact filters over here on the left-hand panel. So let's just do that. Let's work on the left-hand panel. I'll click on filters. And let's just say I want to add dynamic contrast to this image. So I'll click on dynamic contrast. And typically you could just hover over the different presets for the filter to see a preview of what it would look like on the image. So there's texture enhancer, there's soft, there's surreal. Now let's just say that I liked surreal. And I like what it does to the sky though. I don't like what it did to the water and I don't necessarily like what it did to the building. So I want to only add it to the sky. Here is what is new. Remember, I did a video on Super Select. Well, you could use Super Select with filters and with presets as well. So I'm going to go to Super Select, and when that is active, if I hover over different elements in the scene, I'll get a red overlay. So there's the red overlay over the sky, red overlay on the building, red overlay on the water. I want to add this filter, this surreal filter, to the sky only. So hover over the sky so you get that red overlay, then click so you get the blue overlay, then click on surreal, and it will get added only to the sky. Now, let's keep, let's keep doing this. Let's continue. Let's go back to something. I want to add a bit of color to the sky. So I'm going to add a photo filter. And again, I only want this to go to the sky. But let's just say I want to add a warm grad. And again, I only want that applied to the sky, nowhere else. So what I'll do is I'll again, I'll go, I'll again go to Super Select. I'll click on the sky. And then I'll go to Warm Grad and click on that. And you can see that's applied only to the sky. Now, if it's too strong or anything like that, well, what you can do is you have the filter right here, and you can see it has the mask ready to go, and you can just take the opacity slider down. So I could pull it down here. Let's to do it properly, I have to turn it off there. So you can turn it down a little bit, dial it back. All right, let's continue. Oh, I want to do something with the building, and let's add some dynamic contrast to that. So for the building, I probably want to add a texture enhancer, but you can see it's being applied everywhere right now, so I need to go to Super Select, you need to hover over the building, click on the building. You can see it's selecting a little bit more than just the building, but we could uh, modify that as well. And we'll click on Texture Enhancer. You can see that is, it is only affecting the building. Let's go back to View. Let's go over here to the Dynamic Contrast Filter I just added. And you can see if I click on the uh, mask, how it masked just the building. And if I want to see the mask, I could go down here and click on this little icon down here and then go up to Mask, View Mode, Red Overlay. And you can see that wherever there is red, that's what isn't getting adjusted, but where there is not red is where the actual overlay or the mask is getting, or the uh, filter, the dynamic contrast filter is being added to. So let's just say I wanted to also go on the mound below the uh, lighthouse. So I'd, when you're, when you have the mask open, you'll automatically have a masking brush, and I want to paint in the adjustment. So I'm going to paint in down in here. So this is how you can modify the mask it gives you. So I want it to do the wall too. Let's say, let's do the whole buildings over here. Why not? I come across, 
and I'm just going to do this real quick. Get a smaller brush at the brick key a couple times maybe. And come in here and get this wall down in here. But you could do, you could modify the mask that Super Select creates very easily. Okay, turn off masking, go back down here to this little icon, click there, and done. And there it is. I added three different filters, three different effects filters, and you could see using Super Select, I could get automatic masking done so that I don't have to painfully come in and try to paint different parts of the image on the mask so the filter is only affecting specific things I want it to affect. Super Select takes care of that for me. Now again, I am working with a pre-release version of the application. I anticipate uh, Super Select to be more selective. You can see it was a little sloppy, um, maybe around the edges of the lighthouse, maybe a little sloppy down here in the base. Uh, I anticipate it being improved, uh, hopefully by the time it's released, and if not then, as new iterations of the software uh, come out, that it gets better and better. But it's a great start. And it's um, I something I think it's something that many of us would often use. So that is how you use Super Select, not only with filters, but with presets as well. You could use it so you could put one preset on the sky, a different preset on the building, a third preset on the water if you want. So you'll be able to do that as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>